Teen Chronicles in the Mean Streets of Mao. <laughs> Bank lines, crazy. That's not, that's not even a crazy line. It's normal stuff in Mao. Kind of boring. Lady, where's your mask? So you guys see I'm sweating right now. Uh, just so you see, this is after shopping, which shopping is crazy. You see, we're going to organize all these bags. So the shopping part is crazy. That's done. Then we bring all this to the bar. You see the boxes. See the bag. Bring all this to the bar. After Monday, Yaz waited in line for three and a half hours to get the bank transfer, the money out the bank. So she had to wait three and a half hours in line. Cinco hours, okay. three and a half to five hours in line. She waited. Now we did all the shopping. Okay, I'm trying to get a good, <laughs> a good pick with my hand there. And now we're gonna organize these bags. The chicken's on the way. Shout the mic. He's bringing the chicken. Chicken's on the way. And we'll get these bags out in the next two hours or so. So today I believe it's gonna be 50 or 60 bags. And just so you guys see, it's hard work every day but we do it what's good friends and family out here on the river and now for you guys that don't follow my instagram even though you should follow the instagram we uh we got um some property that was bought out here on the river it's really dope like i said we're on the river that's that's my man's daughter's house he built a little house outside on the river and then right behind us, we have the house being built as we speak. A few houses, brand new houses being built out here. But this one is his, right hand of the river in Mao. Uh, land was like $3,000. Uh, to finish the construction, is probably gonna be about six. So he basically has a nice home, basically a summer home, vacation home if you want, for under $10,000. And we're right here on the river. Uh, I'm actually working on getting my property now. See if I can find one of these smaller ones for like a few thousand dollars if I can. You can see there's one down there. Most of them are high up on stilts because it's easier. And when the water rises, it doesn't damage the um, it doesn't damage the uh, houses. So that's his house. And as I said, that's his daughter. He built his daughter a little little tree house, clubhouse outside. Just uh. You know, I hear him now. You hear them work doing the construction as we speak. His spot is a two bedroom, like kind of like a loft style. Uh, eating area, kitchen, dining room. You know, what I'm trying to do is something similar, except I'm going to focus more on the outside experience. I have the bedrooms, and then um, I'm going to have the dining area outside. So, right here in Mal right now, Quarantine Chronicles, I guess, you know. Seeing what's up out here. Just came to the Campo, get out of Sasua for a while, get out of the crib. And uh, be moving around. That's it.